Welcome back everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Unreal. So we've now entered the ISV Cran and finished off deck 4. We're going to be stepping into decks 3 and 2 now. And we'll see what awaits us. Another Scarge, because of course, some flag shells are always good. Death by decapitation there. It does sound like there might be another scar kicking around somewhere, so we're going to keep our eyes open. See if there's any other way up. No. That's why I liked the original Half Life. It introduced crouch jumping. Normally, if you jump and then try and crouch halfway up, it doesn't really work. Crouch jumping in Half Life was great if you wanted to jump on a crate that was slightly higher than you. Jump, crouch in midair, and you end up on top of it. Very handy. Anyway, get the scourge out there. Let's bring the, go the lift down and go and say hello. It's just outside. Okay. hear him speaking, but apparently he doesn't know where we are just yet. Oh, there he is. I don't understand quite how he got down here. Um, but never mind. We want to open up that door and have another look. Really want some more flag shells. It doesn't feel like nearly enough when you've got all of the scars fighting that we've been doing recently. A lot of cores, we'll use that for a bit. Jump boots. This panel requires bypass to activate. Of course it does. Fortunately, we can use this one. He's probably dead now. Still alive. Lucky bastard managed to land on a ledge. So, do we still have the jump boots? Yes, we do. So, there's a nice little mega health. Main shuttle bay doors control door controls fully powered now. Bypass successful. Excellent. Excellent. And a flat cannon, always good. Shells, even better. How did you survive the fall? And are you deaf now or something? Eh, it's lost. So, it wasn't a complete waste going in there. I mean, I got 20 flak shells. 20 old flak shells, something like that, yeah and a mega health, so, you know, I call that a pretty successful run. Excuse me, I was shooting that. through there in a moment. Have a look around and make sure we've got anything else out here. Containment fuel generator. 
primary turbo lift, which I'm guessing we are not getting up just yet. Main battery power offline. Yes, 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 we know. So, cooling system control. <coughs> Let's try this first, shall we? Now, I don't trust this guy. Mainly because he's somebody I haven't killed yet. Anytime you come across the scars that you're absolutely positive you hadn't shot and killed, it's usually a good bet to fire a weapon or two at him if he's playing dead. Cooling system emergency drain valve activated. Oh, that's good. Another toxin suit. <coughs> Cooling system emergency pump activated. And no toxin suit. this guy and flat cannon him in the face or the tail or the back or whatever. Unfortunately wasn't enough to kill him dead but hey. So we've activated the cooling system. Another <coughs> scars down there but we're not going to bother with it just yet. We're going to go and have a look at the containment fuel generator instead. Engine cooling emergency pumps active. Containment field systems be rerouted by alien intruders. Well, let's see what we can do about that, shall we? SV Cran engine status offline, damage report minimal, life support systems online, deck one power levels full, ships hull breach to observation lounge. Uh, I'd imagine we're going to find a giant hole in the ship when we get up there. Containment field generator online. Gold power cores unstable due to excess stress from sealing engineering. Main engineering containment force fields may be disabled by destroying gold cores. Well, that's probably our next step. Disable the cores. There's always something about disabling the cores, isn't it? First of all, take care of that guy. Oh, nice dodge. Come 
Can't dodge what you can't see. It's probably still alive, but at this point in time, I'm not seemingly bothered. If I don't have to go down there. Warning, containment core exposed. This core is highly explosive. Stand back before discharging weapons. What you'd expect them to say is, don't discharge your weapons into the containment core, maybe? I don't know, maybe it's just me. Got a pissed off Scarge downstairs, we don't care. Yep, same message. So we're just gonna... Whoops. Did, is did that do the job or I'm gonna have to go downstairs and do something else he's still alive so you know and now he's dead. warning engine coolant leak on lowermost floor of this area I thought I activated that I like how the message is just completely backwards and upside down from the first board that we saw in this level or not this level but back on deck 4 it does indeed look like there was no point in coming down here. <gasps> that thing will kill you, so I'm trying to avoid it as a rule, of course. I was hoping to draw the scars through it earlier on just to show you, but uh, he didn't take the bait. Primary turbo lift requires full engine. System, yep, done that one. Went through to the dock. Think I need to go. Fuel generator right there. Can I get into the power control? Up to the power core control, yes, yes I can. Main engineering intruders detected proceed with caution. Stronger bitch. Took a hell of a beating there. Planet scanning station. Alien starship detected entering and exiting the atmosphere. Alien mothership landed in Northern Valley near atmospheric electrical storms. ISV and uh, ISV Cran to deck three status. Engine systems attempted to be rerouted by unknown intruders. Engine power capacity at 75%. They need some armor again soon. Uh, and a couple more of them suits that I'd really, really like to use. Bio suit control station, system failure. Power is being rerouted by intruders on deck one. Scanning station one. Short range surface scans indicate location of large alien spacecraft on the planet's surface that matches the description of the same ship viewed entering and leaving the planet's pteridium fields prior to orbital decay. 
in other words, before we crashed. Scanning station 2. Surface scan indicates indigenous primitive structures on the planet's surface. A higher technology town detected on a rock suspended in the sky by some unknown force. Huge power sources emanating from an obelisk within this town. We're gonna have a guess and say we're gonna explore that later on. Carefully work our way across. To be honest with you, I wasn't entirely sure I'd make that. Okay. Now one of these is burned out. Taken out and destroyed one of the two. It'd be nice to know what I'm doing here, but hey. Interesting. Looks like we got some power online. Alright then. Can I just jump our way back across? Or slip down, whatever. Doesn't really matter at this point in time. We don't want the cape here to do. Main engine diagnostic panel, 75% engine power available, coolant leak in the containment core generator, area localized, last attempt to reroute power unsuccessful. I thought I'd rerouted the power already, maybe I did this in the wrong order. <coughs> I'm just having a bad moment and completely forgetting what I'm doing. It isn't the first time in this video and it won't be the last. Well, that guy that wasn't there before, so maybe I'm making progress. You stay up there, alright? See if you can't get the engines back on the line or something, I don't know. Can I get back on the timer? Can I get on the turbo left? Yes! Sounds like I can! There we go. I'm trying to ignore the massive screams of pain. I've got the power back online and we're now about to enter ISV Cran Deck 1. So, we'll pick this up next time round. Thank you for watching. Let's try this first, shall we? Now, I don't trust this guy. Mainly because he's somebody I haven't killed yet. time you come across the scars that you're absolutely positive you hadn't shot and killed, it's usually a good bet to fire a weapon or two at him if he's playing dead. Cooling system emergency drain valve activated. Oh, that's good. Another toxin suit. <coughs>
cooling system emergency pump activated. And no toxins here. this guy and flat cannon him in the face or the tail or the back or whatever. Unfortunately wasn't enough to kill him dead but hey. So we've activated the cooling system. <coughs> Another scar is down there but we're not going to bother with it. So yeah, we're going to go and have a look at the containment fuel generator instead. Engine cooling emergency pumps active. Containment field systems be rerouted by alien intruders. Well, let's see what we can do about that, shall we? SV Cran engine status offline. Damage report. Okay. Primary turbo lift requires full engine. Yep, done that one. Went through to the dock. I think I need to go. To the fuel generator right there. Can I get into the power core control? Up to the power core control, yes, yes I can. Main engineering intruders detected. Proceed with caution. Hell of a beating there. Planet scanning station. Alien starship detected entering and exiting the atmosphere. Alien mothership landed in Northern Valley near atmospheric electrical storms. ISV and uh, ISV Cran de deck three status. Engine systems attempted to be rerouted by unknown intruders. Engine power capacity at 75%. need some armor again soon. Uh, and a couple more of them suits that I'd really, really like to use. Biosuit control station. System failure. Power is being rerouted by intruders on deck one. Scanning station one. Short range surface scans indicate location of large alien spacecraft on the planet's surface that matches the description of the same ship viewed entering and leaving the planet's pteridium fields prior to orbital decay. In other words... And now it's not. Warning, engine coolant leak on lowermost floor of this area. I thought I activated that. Like how the message is just completely backwards and upside down from the first board that we saw in this 
level, or not this level, but back on deck four. It does indeed look like there was no point in coming down here. That thing will kill you, so I'm trying to avoid it as a rule, of course. I was hoping to draw the scars through it earlier on just to show you, but uh, he didn't take the bait. Primary turbo lift requires full engine power. Battery power. System, yep, done that one. Went through to the dock. I think I need to go. Temper generator right there. Can I get into the power control? Up to the power core control, yes, yes I can. Main engineering intruders detected. Proceed with caution. So there's a couple of star troopers in there. Fire the other one into the wall. My version's stronger, bitch. Took a hell of a beating there. Planet scanning station. Alien starship detected entering and exiting the atmosphere. Alien mother. Primary turbo lift requires full engine power. Battery power. System, yep, done that one. Went through to the dock. I think I need to go. Temper generator right there. Can I get into the power control? Up to the power core control, yes, yes I can. Main engineering intruders detected. Proceed with caution. So there's a couple of star troopers in there. Fire the other one into the wall. My version's stronger, bitch. Took a hell of a beating there. Planet scanning station. Alien starship detected entering and exiting the atmosphere. Alien mothership landed in Northern Valley near atmospheric electrical storms. ISV and uh, ISV Cran did deck 3 status engine systems attempted to be rerouted by unknown intruders engine power capacity at 75% Deal with that 
that guy when I get closer. I seriously need some armor again soon. Uh, and a couple more of them suits that I'd really, really like to use. Bio suit control station system failure. Power is being rerouted by intruders on deck one. Scanning station one. Short range surface scans indicate location of large alien spacecraft on the planet's surface that matches the description of the same ship viewed entering and leaving the planet's pteridium fields prior to orbital decay. In other words, before we crashed. Scanning station two. Surface scan indicates the atmosphere. Alien mothership landed in Northern Valley near atmospheric electrical storms. ISV and uh, ISV Cran de Deck 3 status. Engine systems attempted to be rerouted by unknown intruders. Engine power capacity at 75%. They need some armor again soon. Uh, and a couple more of them suits that I'd really, really like to use. Bio suit control station system failure. Power is being rerouted by intruders on deck one. Scanning station one. Short range surface scans indicate location of large alien spacecraft on the planet's surface that matches the description of the same ship viewed entering and leaving the planet's pteridium fields prior to orbital decay. In other words, before we crashed. Scanning station 2. Surface scan indicates indigenous primitive structures on the planet's surface. A higher technology town detected on a rock suspended in the sky by some unknown force. Huge power sources emanating from an obelisk within this town. Gonna have a guess and say we're gonna explore that later on. Carefully work our way across. To be honest with you, I wasn't entirely sure I'd make that. Okay. Now one of these is burned out. Taken out and destroyed one of the two. It'd be nice to know what I'm doing here, but hey. Interesting. Looks like we got some power online. Alright then. Can I just jump my way back across? Or I slip down, whatever. Doesn't really matter at this point in time. We've done what we came here to do. Main engine diagnostic panel, 75% engine power available, coolant leak in the containment core generator, area localized, last at 